now you and I are going to get a rare glimpse behind the scenes at Amtrak. You see, most people never get to come back here. This is the Los Angeles maintenance yard where they work on the trains. It's a very dangerous place to be. And we're always very safety conscious when we're around trains, so it's time to switch hats. And we're going to put on some protective glasses to protect our eyes. And of course, the hard hat to protect our head. Now, we're ready to look around. Here you'll find trains, trains, and more trains. Even trucks that act like trains. These are used for track repair. That locomotive back there in the roundhouse is Amtrak's newest. It's their pride and joy. It's called Genesis. And guess what? They're going to pull it out of the roundhouse, put it on the turntable, put it on the track, and guess who gets to drive it? <laughs> Engineer Dave. This is called a turntable. It's used to turn the trains around. It's been here a long time. In fact, it worked just as well for the old steam engines as it does for Genesis today. This is engineer Chuck. He's the engineer on Genesis, Amtrak's state-of-the-art train, and he's going to show me how to run it. So what, how do we do? What do we do? Right, what do I Dave. touch? <laughs> this is going to be real easy for you. Okay. What we have here, this makes the train go forward or uh -huh. backward. And this is the throttle. It's like the gas pedal on a car. Mm. This is your train brakes. It keeps the train from going too fast. And this is your engine brake here. This will keep the engine stopping and starting when you want it to. Yeah. We have a I can computer do that. screen up here, and we have all kinds of stuff yeah. that tells you what's going on yeah. in the back of the train. Yeah. Have a horn and a bell, <laughs> and you just look out the window. I can do that. Watch out for people. So that's about it. Uh, Dave, we're all cleared to go. Why don't you go ahead and take it away? Dave? Dave? Dave, were you listening? We're ready. Oh yeah, it's yeah. It's your turn yeah, now. Right, you go ahead. Right. We're ready to go? Absolutely. It's all yours. Take it Straight away. Straight ahead, huh? Okay, I think I got it. Break up and away we go. Engines cranking. Engines cranking. And uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. We're, wait a minute. We're, we're, we're going the wrong way. The other way, other oh, way. That's it. Oh, geez, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Guess I guess I wasn't, I wasn't, I wasn't listening. Uh, let's, can I try yeah, again? Doing a good job. Good oh, job. Take it forward now. Okay, forward. That's like it. that. This comes back, the brakes off. And, and away we go. All right. This is great. I just had to play closer attention, that's all listen when people are giving you instructions. Now we're moving. One of the best places to learn about trains, especially old trains, if you like them, is to come to a railroad museum. We've come to the San Diego Railroad Museum, so what do you say we go take a look around? Come on. Trains are fun. At the San Diego Museum, you'll find old cabooses, big engines, 
more cabooses, steam engines, crane trains, still more cabooses, and more steam engines too. I know you know what this is. This is a great big huge old steam locomotive. Now this one doesn't look very pretty. It's kind of rusty because it's getting ready for restoration, but I think we can use it to explain basically how one works. First, this car back here is called the tender. This is where they haul the water and the fuel, and the fuel can be either wood or maybe oil or coal. Now that is put in the firebox, and you'll find a great big huge firebox back in this area here. That creates the heat under the boiler, and the boiler is where the water is. That's that big long tube there. That water turns into steam and eventually ends up in that dome up there. That's the steam dome. And then it is pumped through the pipes into this area here. Now this is a big pressure chamber. And what that steam does is create a lot of pressure. It drives the big levers, boom, 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 that turns the wheels that makes the train go. It wasn't all that long ago that the steam engines ruled the rails. see the uh, train engines come in all shapes and sizes. This little baby here is called an industrial switcher. It's used for moving lighter loads around train yards. Pretty neat, huh? Well, you probably noticed that uh, the appearance of freight trains hasn't really changed that much over the years, except for one thing. You won't see any of these babies anymore. This is a little red caboose, as you might know it. And the purpose of the caboose was a place for the conductor to live and to conduct his business. And of course, it had a tower on top so he could get up there and see all the way to the front of the train and make sure everything was all right. There aren't any cabooses anymore because, well, they don't have to work the long hours so they don't have to spend the night on the train, so they don't need a place to sleep. And with modern electronics, well, it pretty much takes care of the safety of trains. One of the great things about the San Diego Railroad Museum is that they have a real running, working railroad. And this is it. Here it comes now. Hi, kids. My name is Denby Jones. I'm director of museum operations for the San Diego Railroad Museum in Campo, California. Come on out and join us. We've got steam engines, we have diesels, we have old cars, we have new cars, and we have an hour and a half train trip. So get hold of your folks, tell them where we are, and come on out to Campo. Engineer Dave, you're going to be brakeman today. I have to give you this radio. Brakeman? For, yes, you're going to be brakeman. You're going to be communicating with the engineer. i got to start as brakeman, I see. You have to start as brakeman today. Okay. So use the radio to talk to the engineer because you're on the back of the train and he cannot see you. So he doesn't know what you're doing or where you are. So, so that's an important job. Very important job. Hmm. Radio keeps you safe and the train safe. All right. Thank okay. you. Have a good day. Thanks. Well, the first job as a brakeman is to remove this, this brake. All right. This is Brakeman Dave to the engineer. We're ready to roll to take her away. Engine 2104, this is Campo Dispatch. Emergency, emergency. Twenty one oh four, engine, come in. This is an emergency call. Emergency, emergency, acknowledge. Engine twenty one oh four, this is Campo Dispatch. Emergency. 
Emergency, emergency. Campo Dispatch, this is this is Brakeman Dave. Campo Dispatch to Brakeman Dave. We are unable to contact the engine. You've got to get up to that engine. We've got to stop that train. We have a car on the tracks. Over. There's a car on the tracks? Emergency, emergency. What about the engineer? I'll, I'll call the engineer. This is Brakeman Dave to the engineer. Brakeman Dave to the engineer. We, we got a car on the tracks. Brakeman Dave to the engineer. This radio must be broken. I'm gonna have to get to the front of the train and stop it myself. We've certainly learned a lot about trains today, haven't we? We've seen big trains, little trains, diesel trains, steam trains, passenger trains, and freight trains. But if you'd still like to learn more about trains, don't forget they have lots of great books with lots of great pictures at your local library. Or you can visit a museum for trains, like this one in Campo, California. Well, I can see by my uh, special train watch here that it's about time for this engineer to make his next run. So until next time, all aboard. My name is Jim, a Federal Railroad Administration Safety Inspector. Hope you enjoyed learning about trains today, and there goes the train. But one thing we need to remember is just how dangerous it is to play around railroad tracks and to walk on railroad tracks. It takes approximately a mile and a half to stop a 55 mile an hour train, and walking on railroad tracks is against the law. 
So be safe, ride the trains, and don't walk on tracks. Thank you.